Hey what's up, it's Ice Grenade and I thought I'd just show you how to import old World at War maps that you may have made. So behind me is a map that I made of London Tower Bridge and you can see yeah, he's grabbing the juggernaut. This is an older sort of version of the map and we're just mucking about to be honest. And um, yeah, I'm going to import this map and I've already started so I'll walk you through it. So the first thing you need to do is grab your map file and you can get the back or the map file and you can just rename the back. Whatever one's new is probably best to use. Copy that into your Call of Duty root folder and then go to map source, prefabs and make a new one here. I've just labeled it old maps. And then go to launcher and create a new map. I've created one called Tower Bridge and right click open it in radiant i've done that here and then the next thing you need to do go to your prefab browser and then you're going to want to so i'm going to do that now which is somewhere over here Let's go through all of these if you haven't got it you can right click and go down here to prefab browser and then if you hit reload to make sure that it pops through and then you want to drag into the uh camera view and what that will do is it will drop the entire prefab of your map and then if you right click it and do prefab stamp prefab then you'll have your map and you'll notice it's like this it has no textures on it this is because all of the world of war textures um, that have been moved over to black ops have been renamed and so yeah this is a problem you'll have the other problem you'll have is that models won't show anymore and there's a quick way to fix that. If I select a model here, it will leave you a box like this, MISC model, it will tell you the old model here and it will tell you it's a tree. And what you can do to rectify that is first you want to go to entity list and if I just deselect that, I'll go down until I find the one we were just looking at, which is the tree elm. And I'm gonna select all of them and do select highlighted, select highlighted entities, and that will select all of the tree elms in the map. Then what we can do is press M on the keyboard and make sure you've got the filter on all so that it looks for all of them. And then we can type in tree. Let's just pick this one, for example. If you double click on it, what that's going to do is it's going to overwrite and boom. We have just updated the broken models to work in Black Ops models. And let's show you another example of that. So I did it here with the train. All I did was rename it to another flatbed train that's in Black Ops and then it worked. And it's going to actually have to move somewhere up here. But then I found out that they've got a whole load of these missed models here as well if i press n on those we'll see that they're barrels yeah barrel gray rusty so if we go back to m or the model search and type in barrel and we found some rusty barrels here well it's only done one because only one was selected so what you need to do is make sure you go to entity list when you see a barrel in the entity list so here, grey rusty, select the first one, go to the last one, hold shift and click, that will select the, the whole list. Then you're going to need to right click, select highlighted entities, that will select every broken barrel in the map. Then press M and now double click. And what it's just done is it's added in all the barrels. And you might need to reposition a few if they're slightly um, different sizes, but essentially this is the best way to update the map with new models instead of having to import all of the old World at War models and that might take you a long time. Just use the, uh, the ones in Black Ops and if you don't have them then, then go ahead and uh, import new ones. And we've got another example here which is the Berlin Hedgehogs. Those are those sort of wave breakers or whatever they're called uh, that you would find in old World War II pictures and such and they have them in harbors to break up the uh, the water. 
So I'm going to go to the entity list for that. And we're going to look for the uh, hedgehog. There we are, hedgehog. Select all of them. Select highlighted entities. Go to M. See if we got a hedgehog. Have we got a hedgehog? No. Oh, we do have a hedgehog. How lucky is that? Click it like that, and there we go. We have just converted it to Black Ops hedgehogs. And basically, just go around your map and change them all. And the next thing you're going to want to do, of course, is um, there are two options for sorting out uh, the textures. One, you could go to every texture that you've used and import it and then they will just pop up you know if you give them the same name or you can go around and retexture everything which is what I'm gonna do but it won't take too long if you um, just stick at it and before you know it your map will be back and you have it in Black Ops and the best thing about having it in Black Ops is you've got much higher limitations you can make a much better map, bigger map, more detailed. And basically what I'm gonna do is take all the time that I've spent on a World at War map and make a really cool map for London and bring it out for Black Ops.